Hello, today I will present you the Camel KVM. So what it is is exactly, let's see in the browser, please. So we can see that it is a generic and open source machine emulator and virtualizer, right? It allows you to fully emulation this operating system or you have also the user mode emulation and we will use it uh, here exactly. Uh, in CLI and also there is a description for the virtualization but this will be the next topic and I will describe exactly how it looks like in the virtualization environment how we can manage uh, machines and uh, you can also see the graph of the for example CPU usage as you can see on the screenshot you have the latest releases however I'm not going to use those releases exactly from the website, but instead we will do uh, the configuration in the CLI. So we will use the packages. Today it will be for the OpenSUSE 15.4. So once again, etc was release. So we have the open vSwitch bridge configured because sudo OVS VS PTL show will display exactly that we have a bridge BR EX and at ETH0 Ethernet card. It's the only Ethernet card in the operating system. As you can see, there is nothing like there is no other physical device. That's, I mean, no other physical network internet card and we have a virtual bridge and only the virtual bridge has the IP address assigned and there is a default routing table goes to the once again goes through the uh, virtual bridge BREX so also cut etc to config network if PFG for the ETH0 uh, sorry, permission night sudo and sudo cat and sudo also the BRX. So you can see I additionally added those entries type OVS port OVS BRX the bridge. And here you have the type OVS bridge, but it's uh, you know, those entries are additionally added. It's good to have them just for the virtual and for the virtualization. So how do we want to install the Kimu, Kimu KVM, right? So I will switch to the root user and here I have the KVM bash script written. So you can see it's adding the repository for the network for OpenSource 15.4. It's refreshing all those repositories you have in your system enabled. And then it's installing pattern KVM server, KVM tools, and all those uh, libraries and virtual manager, also Kimu KVM, bridge utilities, libnet control. This is a library for uh, the Kimu, Kimu KVM and lib, uh, lib, lib IV verb. So those libraries are needed here. And after that, all I'm checking is the KVM start service and I'm enabling and starting and enabling it and starting and enabling the libvirtd. Um, I can present you how it is done. So kvm.sh, if you run it, you can see it's refreshing the packages. I have all of this uh, installed in the operating system and I will spare the time just because I don't want to, you know, to speed up the all, all of this. You can see everything is already installed, but all you have to do, you need to just run the script and it will do the job for you. And you can see the KVM stat and libvirt D service both are working correctly. So what next? Once again, we're checking the IP address. Uh, APA, we are checking the routing table, AP, IPR, 
and also OBS VS DL show command to present the current configuration. So what's next? What you need to do actually here, you can go and create something like that, uh, like image for the current installation of the virtual machine. I mean, what you need to do actually, you should do this. Um, you can use sudo or as a root kimu img, img, right? Add create, create, and what's next? Oh, I will just copy all of this, just which will be much more convenient and much faster. Free allocation metadata. I have the explanation uh, in the URL, just I don't want to explain this now and uh, you will be able to read about this what does it mean and the format of the image is qcow2 and the size of the image let's say we have we want to have a machine uh, that will contain a disk 10 gigabytes on our hard drive and this way you are creating it and you can see it's formatting it set the cluster size and compression is set to vlib size you can see the lazy riff counts of and riff count with 16. so this is it that's that's the file that is already presented and if i will go here cd LFLH, for example, and you can see we have the image that already has 11 uh, That is okay. So what next? The next step is quite easy, actually. We want to install the virtual machine in our common line, right? So I will copy and paste the already prepared command so I can go back here. And what you need to do you should add, I will display it. You should add those to the key VM and libvirt groups to a user. So it will be user mode ag tvm adrian, right? And you can uh, user mode. Uh, okay, uh, sudo and key and also lib virt lib virt adrian and i should id adrian and i have the lib virt kvm and uh, id kvm it's not a user id lib virt is also not a user but cut etc grows uh of group and you can see the i don't know what it is here it's a like key vm and the lib fit should be somewhere over here lib fit. and you can see that there's already Add that so you can see the KVM has a Kimu and Adrian, so ID Kimu. And you can see there is a user Kimu that is uh, in KVM group. Okay, so that's how it looks like. So if you have a user and you want to install directly from the user, you can use a sudo command and you can do this. So explanation, name, name of the machine. Debian in this case RAM in megabytes. So here is a full four giga to four thousand ninety six two VCPUs. So two virtual CPUs. OS variant. It's good to set it because it will speed up and um, the machine and will optimize it. 
also enable accelerate and you need to provide a path to this Debian. However, I don't remember how, just you need to wait for a little bit. It was uh, probably sorry. I will go back here and just give me a moment because the path is wrong if I will go to the just give me a moment it was cd sorry not this one I will copy the path and I will go there cd and if I will list it sudo ls and you can see it's Debian 11, so it will be Debian 11 part. Okay, once again. And here we go. sudo virt install name ram vcpus accelerate disk var lib virt images Debian 11 device disk size. Size is also wrong because I did the 10 gigabytes, so once again, just give me a moment. Size will be 10. And now it is okay just because I was testing it. So size is 10, sparse, yes, cache non format, QCO, W2. There is a network also, BRX. And graphics is set to none. And all of this and is needed and the location of the ISO image and hit the enter and you should see that there is okay the installation is starting here we go here we go and you should be able to install and you can see you can choose country let's say I'm in Europe and I'm in Poland, so here we go. Go back here just to quickly. Poland. Ah, uh, yeah, United States and the keyboard. And you can see that the installation is running correctly. So this is it actually. And now you can see the system is installed, so I should be able to log in. Let me check. Voila, I mean. Here we go. IPA. I know it looks like different because it's a machine, a virtual machine inside the virtual machine. So probably I will have to reconnect it, and it switched somehow to uh, the I don't know. Probably some light uh, dim IPR IPA, and you can see there is an IP address ten dot ten. 0.119 and IP wrote it going to the 10.10.0.1 so it took the configuration from the BRX from the virtual bridge and that is correct so let me see if it working on the microtic router and you can see we have an entry 10.10.0.119 it's for Debian 11 so this is the IP address of our virtual machine so everything is working up as expected and this is it actually so this is it all of this is done actually correctly I will record a new video and I will present you how to exactly stop this machine I mean you can just run the command shutdown or system CTL power off and then I will exactly present you how to enable this machine, how to run it from using the VIR, 
how to stop it, how to perform all those commands in, with Virsh and then I don't know, probably I will also record a totally separate video about uh, the virtual manager and how to handle virtual machines there, how to see the CPU graphs, etc, etc. So all of this will be divided to separate um, topics and that's all. I think you will enjoy the next videos I'm going to record and so thank you very much, have a nice day or night, bye bye, take care.